Hey guys, just mashing in um, the Imperial Stout. Um, I managed to get an extra degree on my um, mash temperature, so I'm just giving it a little bit of a um, extra stir and um, just you know make sure I've got no more dough balls in there, and, and you know that'll that'll by chance give us that one degree less, hopefully. Um, I was aiming for 70, got 71, so yeah, don't want it too hot. Um, we want we want some uh, want some sugar in there. Cool. Oh yeah, so I've just measured out my hops. Here's 60 grams of Nelson Savin, uh, all 60 minute boil. So that's for the double IPA, uh, not double IPA, the Imperial Stout. <laughs> and here's um, same hops, um, 60 minute boil for um, the uh, the Party Guile Stout. So just six grams. Mash is done. We ended up mashing at 71 the whole time, so um, close enough. And um, just running off some wort now, doing a bit of a boil off. Um, not that we need to, but it's good to set the grain bed anyway. <coughs> cool, and away she goes. Right, so just looking at how the Imperial Stout mash is clearing here, I've actually got about, oh, I don't know, about six or seven centimetres of uh, liquid on the top of the um, grain bed there. Um, clearing out quite a lot, so I'm actually thinking the Partigal Stout might not be a stout, it may end up being kind of just an ale or a brown ale. I thought I'd come and um, just check on the yeast in the fridge here. So it's been in here for, for a day, um, and look at that, look at that white line there, that is all yeast. The stuff underneath is just grain and sediment and shit, but that white line is all yeast, and that is probably about, oh, I don't know, almost a centimetre thick layer of yeast in there. So this is a one, one litre vial, so I don't know how much volume of yeast that is, but um, oh, looks like a good amount to me. Awesome. So I had a little bit of a fail here. Um, what I forgot was the rolled oats. A uh, bit of an idiot. So um, with about five or six, no, six or seven litres to go in the sparge, I quickly threw them in the top, gave them a quick mix around and um, let the rest of the sparge go through. So hopefully we've grabbed out some of those proteins and lipids and um, get some good mouthfeel in the stout. Feel a bit silly, but, um, oh well, we, we got some use out of them anyway. Um, certainly we'll get some good use out of them in the uh, Partigal, so we'll see how we go with that. Good eye. Coming to the end of our sparge now, the water's, uh, not water, the, the wort is um, uh, starting to run kind of clear, so um, not very stouty anymore. But we're going to let that get through because um, what we've got is we've now got our Manuka smoked malt in there. So um, I've just dumped that on the top and you know while while that's finishing off I've also got the um, the second run sort of mash reflood water ready to roll. So I've got eight litres of um, water in there, probably probably gonna get about 75 degrees, almost 80 degrees, and then boom, chuck it in, mix it all up again, and then leave it for another sort of half an hour or so, see how we go. Cool, so our Imperial Stout is at the boil now. Let's get our hops. Boom, and they go. Cool, so that's a 60 minute addition. Boom. Rightio, so there's, there's Bear Smith. Uh, I was just running some numbers and things. With the pen and paper and a uh, good old handy computer. And um, looks like I was... I was out or down by about five specific gravity points. I was looking for 107.6 and I was about 107.1. Uh, reasoning being, um, I lost one point on efficiency, just general lost one point. So that was cool, happy with that. And I lost four points uh, because of the rolled oats because I put them in late. Um, so what I could do is say, well, it's in there, but it's just not contributing any of the um, converted sugar. So that's fine, I'll just lose the five points. So we're looking at 1071 specific gravity. So not too bad, not too bad. 
Um, <clears throat> that's based on a forward looking calculation because I still have to add in the demerara sugar. So that's all good. Looking fine. Um, and the boil. Boil's cracking along nicely. We've got We've got half an hour left on the boil, and um, the Partagal one is going to come out shortly as well, so I'll start draining that soon. Awesome, boil's still going, almost done, and uh, over here, the uh, second running for the Partagals pretty much finished, so what we'll do is we'll just... Um, We'll just let it trickle through. Just going to let that go nice and slow so we can um, extract as much sugar as we can. Um, interesting colour. It's very, very, very cloudy. Um, and uh, yeah, sort of a brown sort of colour. So, let's see how we go. Radio. Um, so, that's happening just draining into the uh, boiler and uh, now we're going to pop the demerara sugar in it oh you can see my legs there's my legs okay right cool there we go so basically we've got um, we've only got about 15 the 20 minutes left in the boil so I thought it'd be a good time to add this in there so um, yeah I'll get the other ones in there awesome oh yes so this is where we have two brews going at once so the um, Imperial boom boiling away nicely very close to finishing that one off in fact we've got just a couple minutes left to go on the boil and this one we're just cracking into it now cool so the Partagile stout or dark beer I suppose, is um, ready for pitching the yeast. I ended up with just over six litres and I had to um, top it up with a little bit of brown sugar just to um, just to top up the alcohol because I think the first batch was quite efficient so we didn't have as much sugars left over in the mash as we thought. So I'll chuck some yeast in there. And there we have the two beers. We've got the Imperial Stout there and the smoked Partagal Stout there. See how we go.